what up everybody? You see this armor I'm wearing right here? It's known as onyx armor, and yes, those are wings made of fire. Like a demon's, but also like an angel's. Well, an angel on fire. Not only that, but it's got a whole mess of stats associated with it as well. Thorns, max health, speed boost, damage boost, armor boost. It's got it all. Oh, did I mention you can fly with it? In order to get this armor, we're going to have to head to Asphodel Meadows. Portal to a brand new dimension in Minecraft. And in order to get this armor, we're going to have to do a lot to open this portal. You're actually watching the end of the video. So look, we did it, Mom. We actually got the armor. <laughs> That's what you're going to be seeing us do in today's video. Breaking it down step by step from how you unlock the portal to how you get the items involved in opening the portal to making some very special onyx pickaxes and tools as well. So that you can eventually get yourself some onyx armor. Enjoy Asphodel's code. Let's begin. All right, so there's a few things we're going to need to gather before we can get into this portal. Namely, we've got it bookmarked right here. We need to make the portal to Asphodel. For that, we need alchemic charges, alchemic diamonds, cloud in a bottle, which we have already, and resurrection totem. In fact, we already have some alchemic diamonds. I'm pretty sure we can make the charges fairly easily. Let me see. Right, here's how you make a charge. So we just need one alchemic diamond and a powered capsule on each side. Now, as I was saying before, I got a little bit busy killing on some mobs, and we've got a pretty decent haul of both essence as well as capsules and some essence capsules. We may need to get more of these, but for now, let's make some of the diamond. We actually need all of these things in order to make the diamond, and so you put the essence capsule right in the middle, and then you put all these lovelies all up and down the sides of them. I don't remember the exact order. Is that... Oh boy, we're gonna have to do some mixing and matching. <laughs> oh jeez. Orange on top, green on bottom, red on right. Orange on top, green on bottom, red on right. Yeah! Alright, so we gotta make a few of those. But let's make the charge first. Same, same story, green on bottom, yellow on top, red on right. Except now we need the power capsules, and we might need some more of these too. Thankfully we only need one of them. For, for this, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, and so that should save us a good amount of time. Let's drop you right on in there, and there it is. We got the alchemic charge. Goal reached. Charge it up, baby. Uh-huh. Hold on a second. Can we just appreciate? Craft some alchemic charges by following the recipe. That's lovely. Oh, and I forgot to mention to you, when we were making our armor before, we also got the healer. We got a full set of healing armor, which is exactly why we got 20 hearts now. We are we looking fresh. We're going to need all these extra hearts for the Asphodel's realm, the, the portal that we're headed to. More importantly, though, we're going to need to make a resurrection totem, which means we need to go get ourselves a golden apple as well as some more crafter's paper, which is a witch drop, and we're going to need to mine a lot of gold in order to get this special golden apple. I think, at least. I don't remember if, if you need gold blocks or, or gold ingots. I guess we can find out right now, because if we only need ingots, then we're already good on our apple. I mean, we could use this one. <laughs> I'm just gonna go cut some trees down. I placed that one there at the start of the episode. I didn't actually get that one So let's just go chop some trees down and see what happens. Wait, where's Lucky? Lucky! Hi! Come with me. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it, but Lucky's safe at least. Barely. We got hit by back-to-back -back creepers. <laughs> Bro, how do we chop down a whole tree leaves and not get one apple? Oh. What? Oh. They be oh. oh, gosh. Okay, well, let's see if we can actually make it with the proper golden apple or if we need one of those mega golden apples that are impossible to find. Bam. Ba -ba Bam. Jalade. Golden apple goodness. Now, the, cr the crafting recipe is pretty simple. We need four essence capsules, and we have those right here. Not bad. Okay. We need a crafter's paper. Do we have one of those? We do have a couple crafter's papers left. Excellent. Okay. And right, where did that go? It went right there. We need a golden apple right in the center. Okay. And the moment of truth, if we put an alchemic diamond on the top. Where do my alchemic diamond? I know I made it. Oh, we made the charge with it. Now I got to take all this. Ridiculous. Give me my diamond. Wait, what? Huh? Oh, right, I did it wrong. Man, it's, it's, it's just difficult to remember all these recipes, you dig? Okay, so hold on a second. Essence capsules, just like that. It, please work, please work. Yes! Resurrection totem. When an offhand, if you take fatal damage, instead you gain a shield that absorbs up to eight damage for five seconds. 
Not bad. We ain't even gonna use it for that. <laughs> Instead, we need to make three more of these alchemic charges. We need three alchemic diamonds, and then we can head to the portal. So I want to say we already have a decent amount of that already sorted. We may not need to do any more traveling uh, to get the rest of the stuff we need. So hold on a second. I gotta make all these diamonds. We're gonna need a bunch. Oh wow, would you believe? I literally have just enough of the green unstable essence to be able to get this. We may have had to go mob hunting instead, but now we're ready. We need a total of seven alchemic diamonds because four of them are going to be used in order to make ourselves the lovely portal and say goodbye to our last one now we can make the charges and i think this one works similarly to the other ones we were just doing and wow we have just enough to make this one too this was way closer <laughs> than i care to admit there's another alchemic charge technically we only need to make two more because we already have the what did i make an extra dime uh, great and that should be the last one so now we can make this portal all we need to do is put the charges on each corner Put the diamonds along the top here. Bam, bam, bam. We're gonna need to put our cloud in the bottle right in the center here, and we've got that right there, and we've got a resurrection token as well. And so look, the portal has been made. Whoopa! And best part, we don't actually use up the supplies. We just make the portal wherever we want. So I'm gonna make myself another little infernal machine, place it out here, and that's where the portal's gonna sit. Which means we need another dropper, <laughs> and we need another enchantment table, which we already have one of, and I'm just gonna take it. Sorry, what do you want? Check it out, drop, drop, drop. Bam! Give it to me good. So let's place you. Oh, this isn't centered exactly, is it? Hmm. Lucky, what do you think? Where should I put this thing? I feel like right here is Well guys, I don't know what to say. We had a game crash. Literally my Minecraft crashed and I lost a whole bunch of footage. I lost, well not a whole bunch. I lost about four minutes of footage, but that was probably from like playing for 20 or 25 minutes. So we lost a little bit of time, but that's okay. I got some explaining to do now. Check it out. We've got some onyx. We need onyx in order to get the onyx armor and we got it from going inside the portal. So. Let me show you the inside of the portal. I'm sure some of you guys have seen it before. We've previously done a video showing off some of the coolness of Asphodel's Meadow. And so here we are inside once again. And so what we were in the middle of doing just a little bit ago was collecting onyx, which you can see I've already mined a whole bunch of. Ooh, that was nice. Gave me some night vision goodness. Okay, hold on a second. And so, yeah, onyx spawns in in this dimension periodically all over the place. And uh, we need some in order to make that armor. We also needed to get trapped souls, which we did by killing trapped soul creatures, we'll call them. And so the other thing I did a whole bunch of was mining. Because for whatever reason, a whole lot of these creatures were like getting pulled underneath the ground. Some kind of like weird force. I don't know if it was a glitch, but we mined all the way down here. And so you honestly didn't miss too much. Other than giant wraiths, who or phantoms. I don't know why I called them a wraith. Oh, actually, I'm pretty sure that these things that moving around are called wraiths. But either way, we're on the hunt for a couple more trap souls so that we can use them to make the soul bell, which will keep us nice and safe. As we see, there's some right over there. Yes, boys. Yes, it's time. It's time for you to die. Y'all ready? Y'all done as y'all finished. Oh, wow, another one of them just died right there, it looked like. <laughs> Check it out, you're dead. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go ahead and hold these up. Oh boy, they're all over the place. I'm running. Run! <laughs> Gosh. Can we at least... Okay, they keep me mostly safe, huh? Mostly safe. They don't seem too strong, to be honest. I'm glad we got the healing armor, because this could have gone a lot worse than it's currently going. Thank you so much. Don't mind if I do. We got six trap souls from that. So again, the more trap souls we have, the more healing ability we'll have once we make our soul bell. So let me just finish off these guys. They're not that scary once you've got night vision on, but they are pretty funny looking. Get, get away. All right, that should be more than enough. We want to avoid the pink swamp or fog or whatever the heck it is. We can actually check the compendium right here and see how we're going to use this onyx. It should be pretty much at the very end here. Let me see. Onyx ingots. Oh, look at that. So we can make one ingot using six of the activated onyx. So we need, what is it, 26 ingots to make armor? Oh wait, no. We need eight ingots per piece of armor because we have to surround diamond armor with onyx in order. Ah, uh, okay. So what is that, 32? 
We need 32 times 6. We need 32 times 6. So basically we need 6 stacks of onyx in order to get a full set of onyx armor. So we can keep mining away as it sees fit, but let's make the soul bell right now. So, a soul bell requires the following. One alchemic diamond. Good thing we had an extra after all, huh? We need four essence capsules. One, two, three, four. We also need to grab ourselves a trapped soul, which we thankfully have. And then the last thing we need is a crafter's paper. And we have one more of those. So, we made our soul bell. And so now when we sneak while holding this thing, we'll get strength and regen for a whopping 10 seconds. Y'all ready? Check this out. Sneak. Look at this. Great regen. Awesome strength boost. Yo, I can't wait. Oh, I'm gonna put all these things away though. I don't know. Like, this is a bad idea bringing all of this in with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll organize it later. So, right, check this out. Soul Bell. Sneak. Yes. And now you're like, what? A one hit wonder, pretty much? Oh, okay. You're still pretty strong, to be honest. <laughs> Now it's just going to be a mining game, everybody, so I'll see y'all when I have three stacks of onyx. Did you hear that? Listen. Oh, okay. I thought... Whoa! Is that a campfire? Is there a campfire underneath the... Do you see that? Whoa! Easy, easy! Alright, I'm running! Okay, it's a good thing I got these soul bells, because to be honest, these things are doing a lot of damage to me right now that they were not doing to me before. Like, I am glad I've got this armor because I would be a half heart alive right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we just went back home, grabbed some cobblestone. I'm gonna make a trek across this ocean, I guess. Is that what it is? Is it an ocean? To see if there's anything on this other side because we actually hit other ocean going that direction. So I wanna make sure, oh gosh, I swear this phantom's gonna destroy, he's gonna ruin my life, isn't he? Oh boy. Let's do it like this, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, gosh. Why do I feel like he's going to get me? Where is he? Oh, he hasn't seen me yet. Oh, gosh. This is so scary. This is terrifying and scary. This is scarifying. Can we just... Okay, that's probably for the best, huh? Away we go. Thank you. And we're good. We're safe. Yes. Thank you. Back to mining. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sheesh. Wow. That just did eight hearts of damage in one fell swoop. Like, literally. Oh, boy. Is he coming for me? No! Bro, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. We need to, like, seek shelter. <laughs> Come on. You must be joking me. Where is he right now? Oh, my gosh. Okay, I think I... Is, is he on me? Oh, man. Do we need to, like, go get a bow or something? Hey, look. Do you see that? There's a campfire over there. Same as before. Except this one looks like it's spawned in above ground, which is very useful for us, because I'm not trying to go to a campfire that spawned in the middle of a purple acid ocean. Okay, we'll get the rest of the onyx in a second. I want to make sure that this isn't something that's going to, like, destroy my life. Please, work with me on this, huh? Oh, that's further than I thought. What's this? Oh, oh gosh! No, no, no! You get right back on him now! <laughs> okay, cool. What is it? It's like a little camp zone. Hey, this is interesting. Oh, nice. Useless things, yeah. All right, two stacks down. Less than one stack to go. Yeah, boy. It's a good thing this stuff isn't rare. <laughs> Otherwise, we'd be here a lot longer and we'd probably be dead by now. See, look, he just like disappeared out of nowhere. So weird. All righty, this will do it. We now have, may as well mine the rest. We've got our three stacks, which is enough for our armor. And we get a little extra. I guess we could also get the tools. Let's just get one fourth stack. All right, that'll do it. Let's head on home. Actually, is this a, is this a new campfire? I think this is another campfire. This looks different from the one we went to before. No, okay, same one. Okay, good, that means we're close at least. <laughs> I was like, everything looks the same here. I'm pretty sure I'm lost, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die here, and it's gonna be bad. There's literally creatures behind me. We gotta go, 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 go. You're not gonna follow me. Wait, I think, I think I am lost? Oh, great. Dude, no way. Where am I? Bro, where am I right now? No, we just mined all that, okay. Oh boy, there's literally so many. Oh my gosh. No, and they're hitting me with their sh lasers. Oh good, it's right over there, I think. Is that? Oh, I thought that was the bridge. Dude. 
Am I lost? Okay, okay, I'm being like overwhelmed. There are phantoms all over me. Where'd the other one go? And then, and then like, oh boy. Dude, this is not, oh gosh. And look, more. Wait, oh, that's it! Run, 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 come on, come on, come on, get over there. Look, I'm gonna hurry up. Oh, dude, if they knock me in at this point, I'm done, so. Yes, the entrance. Yo, we gotta get out of here. Okay, we're back, we're good. Good to go. Everything is nice. Where is that z Whoa, what just happened to my paintings? They my paintings just popped off the wall. Yo, something's afoot. We'll worry about it later. Let's make our Onyx goodies. I'm gonna be doing this for the next 20,000 years, so we'll catch you up when they're all ingots. You can actually get a pretty good rhythm going. Look at this. Bam. 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 Trying to make a beat. Bam. 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 Oh, I'm done. Sorry. Ooh, we got an advancement. Dark Jewel. Nice. What does that mean exactly? Mine's some activated on grip. Oh, okay. So here's our grand total. We got one stack plus 18 more ingots, and we got some leftover activated onyx. Now, in order to make the onyx armor, we need a full set of diamond armor, uh, which we don't have. So we do need to go mining, but we can make the onyx pickaxe. Ooh without needing diamond. But we do need blaze rods, so we're headed to the nether. And I finally found out where the zombie's hanging out. <laughs> Are y'all ready for this? What's up, dude? How'd you get in there? Nobody likes you. Gosh, it's like embarrassing. Give me the torch, put it in there, finally. Flint and steel. Mega the portal, baby. Seriously, where am I? It just put me like in the middle of lava. Can we just look for a second? Am I like stuck? Like, where am I? What kind of portal placement is this? I've never... <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> this is the worst! Oh gosh! No, 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 no! Dude! No, this is bad! Am I even on fire? How come I'm not burning? Very weird. Okay, well, we're safe. Gosh! I just did it again! That was so close. I'm literally not a smart person. I can't believe I just did. I like, I literally just. <laughs> I like mine again that direction. Come on. Okay, well, I gave up on digging. Turns out, right by my portal, we walked right by it. There's another tunnel. And look at this. It leads to something. Oh, now we need to find a fortress. The nether looks crazy in the latest snapshots. They, like, changed how world gen works. I mean, like, these ultimate, like, corridors of fire. And lava. No, it's hot here. <laughs> oh, cool. I forgot. I can actually get the little capsule fragments from from the quartz, too. At least we're getting some of those. Ooh! Finally! This is the first time I've seen, like, the surface. <laughs> yes. Hopefully we can maybe, can we like up our render distance? Can we see any farther if we put the render distance up at all? Did that, did that? I don't really do anything. Great, now I gotta deal with this mess. Mess of a creature. Messy, messy, messy. Can we just, can you stop? Ah, I'm gonna get you! No, you don't so! Stop! <gasps> there it is, there it is. Wasn't even that far from the gas like that literally happened like right over here. We're, we're really this isn't that bad We got pretty close now. We just have to hope we could find a blaze spawner or at least a spawn of blazes Which should be easy. Hey, I'll take these. Thank you very much. It's a start. It's a good start Assuming he doesn't kill me and assuming I don't die Okay, you gotta go and I will attempt to oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, good. Sorted. Okay, now you, you die. Yes, we got one. I think we need two more. Oh, perfect. There it is. Problems over. My new best friend is the blaze spawner. Yes, down you go. Well, now you can't reach me over there, well, you fool. What's good, babies? What's happening? Please don't fall off the edge. Oh boy. Easy, easy does it. Guys, 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 easy does it. Uh, why do they always fly? Please, do not fly away. Where's the rest of them? You go too! Did we get one? We only got one from that? Stop! Stop! 
What? You need to drop me one. How about you? How about you? How about you? Please, guys, can we get another one? There's two. And three. All right, we out. Uh, assuming we can find our way back. And we did. I'm so happy I left a breadcrumb trail. Although I will miss you, the nether. You and your crazy pillars of truth and destiny and things. Awesome. We made it. Just barely. Now, see, the best thing about this pickaxe, my friends, is the fact that you can use it to detect ores. It's going to make finding these diamonds so easy. See? Press sneak to scan for ores in a 10 block radius. And don't mind while I make my weapon as well. So let's head back into that ravine, finish up making this armor. But see, just so you guys know how it works, check it out. See, look, I sneak, and then look, it shows up. You can see the black outline. Beautiful! So that should make finding diamonds in this ravine a walk in the park. Down we go. Yeah, I see the iron. It don't matter to me. Okay, well, we're literally in diamond territory now, so I'm just going to choose a direction and... Uh, <laughs> Hope for the best. I wow, that's a fast pickaxe. My gosh. This is going to be... Wow, bro. Bro. This is going to be the easiest diamond finding, I think, ever. This is literally excellent. Is that diamond or is that lapis? That must be lapis because that's lapis over there. Okay. Okay. Like I said, I ain't too concerned. Look, we're going to town on these stone. There's some diamond. Wow. You guys need to get this pickaxe. And does it have fortune on it? It does! It's got fortune too built in. Too good. Too good. Hold on. Don't mind if I do. Whoa. Can, what the heck? Yeah, can you guys disappear, please? Thank you so much. Yo, we just got so many diamonds from that. And there's more up there. Let there be diamonds. Yeah! The shulker boxes, that's just an effect from the, the highlights. So you just gotta deal with it. And so just like that, we only need one more diamond. And we're good to go. And to be honest... I'm pretty sure I've got that diamond back home, but you know, I kind of like mining with this, so I'm just gonna let it do its thing. What else you got for me, boys? You got some more diamonds hanging out somewhere? Let's just, there they are. There they are. Amazing. So good, so good, so good, so good. Oh, I love it, oh, I love it. I never stopped loving it. Look at that, that was so fast. Okay, let's go make this onyx armor. Okay, back at home, making the gear, bam. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready? Bam, bam, bam! We got the full set right there. Let's grab our onyx and let's get busy making up this armor. First piece, done deal. Just like that, next piece. Bam, onyx helmet. I know y'all saw those stats popping off on that thing. There's our leggings. And finally, keep the change by the way, we got onyx boots. It's all ready, baby. It's all ready. Healing armor, you served us well, but honestly, you're not that good. Meanwhile, check us out now. Still have the max health. Also have wings. Not mad about it. Can now fly. Don't worry about it. Can now float down. Pretty much invincible. Pretty much... Oh. <laughs> Look, no one heard me say that, okay? It's not a big deal. Let's just grab our stuff so no one notices. Ladies and gentlemen, I pretty much gave you the breakdown of Asphodel's code, a.k.a. Asphodel Meadows. Now, I do have an announcement. Now that we've made the portal, now that we've gotten the best armor and tools in game, I gotta be real with you. Uh, as it happened, the series did not end up doing that well on YouTube, the one you're watching right now. Yes, that's right. It didn't end up doing that well. So this is gonna be the last episode. We were originally gonna be doing a Creeper's Code addition to the Asphodel's Code, aka that's why I combined the names, but like I said, the series isn't doing that well, so we decided to wrap it up for all you guys that did like it and get it, put a light, nice little ribbon on top of it. So I'm sorry to tell you that. Uh, the reality of the situation is I am going to make videos that people want to watch, and if no one's watching this, collectively speaking, at least compared to my other videos, then we're not going to do them anymore. That's just how the world works, baby. Sorry to tell you, but we wrapped it up. We did it. We made a beautiful house. We got a whole bunch of cows. We got some great gear, some great armor, some great tools, with some great everything, honestly. So I honestly like where we ended today's episode. It was nice and concise. So check out Asphodel Meadows for yourself. Like I said, it's a data pack you can add to your world right now. 
Link in the description of today's video and shout out to Sir Pumpkinstein for this awesome data pack. So much fun. Thank you all so much for joining us on this very, very brief mini series. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for leaving a like. Thanks for subscribing as you do. And with that, we leave you. Have a good one, and we'll see you soon for another survival series.